everybody doing? How's everybody doing? One more time. How's everybody doing? <laughs> there it is. There it is. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Jessica, for the warm welcome. And Matt, we're so excited to be working with the Habu team. It was a perfect segue for us, right, Danielle? It was. Because we're going to be talking about our product and the progression we've made since the last time we met last year. But before I do that, it would make sense to talk a little bit around your experience. Today, you have many partners and many partners that you want to start working with, but they all have differing technologies across different clouds and oftentimes different identifiers underneath that. It's messy, right? And with that mess, it's very difficult to build those amazing consumer experiences and on top of that, your revenue strategies. Our job at LiveRamp, yep. and in the product in particular, is to help simplify that mess, to help make it easier for you to wade through all of this noise and figure out what's most important to you and your business. And it starts with collaboration. Collaboration unlocks growth for your business and new opportunities that you might not even be thinking about. Now, we've been talking about a new platform at LiveRamp for several years now, but it is today that we are launching that new platform and all of its capabilities. I would venture a guess, so I've been at LiveRamp for a while, and I'd venture a guess if I asked people a show of hands, has LiveRamp made your life easier, simpler? Have we sped up value to you? I'd venture a guess we'd get mixed results, right? But this is a new live ramp. This is not the old live ramp. Everything that we do and everything that we're building and everything Kim's going to talk about today is about simplifying your lives, but speeding up the value that we bring to you ultimately so that you can speed up the value that you bring to your customers. So the question is, how do we do it? Have you guys heard about the live ramp data collaboration platform? Have we talked about data collaboration at all uh, today? We do it a couple of ways. First, we build a platform so that it's interoperable. Our platform must integrate seamlessly with every single partner that you have, as well as every single person in this room. It must connect to an authenticated global ecosystem, and you're going to hear more about that as well. And lastly, it must be composable. You need to be able to use the data where you want, whenever you want. So it has to be composable. You're right, Daniela. Data is more and more decentralized. We talked, you heard, you heard Matt talk about all of the clouds that each of you are working in today. And on top of that, privacy is key for your business and for us as consumers. And with that, interoperability became a part of every single design decision we made within this new platform. Now let's talk about the platform. There are four key components to the platform. And they also align to how we think you should be considering your data collaboration strategy. The first of that is live identity. Live identity is about creating a persistent, consistent, and scalable view of your consumers with trust at the center of that. The next up is data access. Yes, you have your first party data access, but there's also rich data partners with second and third party that ultimately need to be best fit for your business. And that brings us to the third pillar, which is all about actionability on that data now. And this is where we're talking about authenticated global audiences that you can connect with your consumers wherever they're spending their time today and in the future. And then finally, insights. Insights fuels innovation for your business with measurement, analytics, and even AI capabilities all underneath. So I love looking at it from that standpoint, but really I think what we should do is take a minute to kind of go deeper in each one of those. I agree. Because I think it's critical that we all understand the value that's being driven in each one of those pillars. So first let's talk for a minute about your data strategy. That's where it begins, knowing your customers, knowing what they care about, knowing who they are is critical. Kim talked about the complexity of data in the ecosystem. I'd, again, if I asked everybody to raise their hand and say, hey, do you have complexity with your data within your own four walls? I suspect 95% of you are going to raise your hand, right? 
And so really what you need to do is be able to build out an enterprise identity strategy, an accurate, scalable strategy that can then feed into all of your business applications. Right? So whether it's your CRM or your CDP or your POS or any other acronym that this industry can throw at you, right? you need to be able to feed that so you have consistency. But the important thing is not just doing that. It's doing it based on your rules. It's doing it based on what you think is important and how you identify a person and how you think about what, how to connect the data. So I think it's super and critical. And with live identity within the data collaboration platform, you can do that. But it's not just enough to say you can do that. It's got to be simple. That's what we started with, right? And so what you'll see up on the screen is a super simple way of connecting multiple different identities together. This is a simple workflow builder. It's got three different disparate sets of data with a couple of clicks. And based on the rules that you build, you can then seamlessly connect those, th those three sets of data together and create a unified profile or unified identity feeding your enterprise identity strategy. But we also know that have, the data that you have isn't enough. Kim talked about access. Kim talked about another pillar that we talk about, which is really about accessing other data. Well, let's say you want to access other data, and you want to fill in those gaps, and you want to bring that data in. It's two more clicks to be able to now say, hey, I'm going to take these different first-party data sets that are disparate based on my rules, and now I'm going to connect them to the third-party data that I have. So now, again, with two more clicks, you basically have created a much more robust customer profile, again, feeding your enterprise identity, which I think is incredibly exciting. So if we think about it, we think about your data strategy, what we just looked at was live identity, the ability to create this seamless enterprise identity strategy that feeds all of your business applications. And then we said, hey, let's bring that in. Let's bring in the sec rich second and third party data, tapping into the richness of the ecosystem. We bring that together, and when you do that, we have customers that see 25% improvement in the return on ad spend. That's incredible. Now you can take your identity strategy, and you can turn that into your competitive differentiator in the market. And as I said earlier, actionability is key on that data, and that's where live connectivity comes from. Scott talked about the seismic changes that are happening in the industry, and it's LiveRamp's job to partner with you to help you manage through all of that, leveraging a global authenticated ecosystem. So no cookies, no problem, we've got you. You want to connect with your consumers and social media platforms, CTV, premium pubs, or even via marketing campaigns, no problem, we've got you. But what you've told us is that we haven't made it so simple, as Daniela alluded to. <laughs> And there's two key pieces of feedback that I want to hit on before I show you this experience. The first piece of feedback that I've heard time and time again is that you want this experience to match how you're planning your media. You don't want a bunch of repetitive clicks to have to uh, get to your customers or your consumers. And then on top of that, you want to not move the data if you don't have to. You want it to come directly from your cloud data warehouse. And we've heard you. So Scott was able to demonstrate Pair for you with so two easy a CEO clicks. could do it. Yeah, a CEO could do it. But previously, if you look closer at this screen in the upper left-hand corner, you'll notice that behind this data delivery is actually six unique audiences. So now you're building this at a campaign level. And if you want to connect this to these other six destinations where your consumers are spending a lot of their time, you can do so easily. It used to take you over 100 clicks to do this within our platform. And now, including your first time setup, you can do it in just 10 clicks. This is the same exact experience that you would have in Snowflake as well. Daniela talked about composability. This is that. You can leverage the same UI and the same simple experience directly from your cloud data warehouse. And with that, you can do robust segment building right out of your cloud data warehouse so you don't have to move as much data. Connectivity, this is how you're going to reach your consumers at the right time, with the right message, in the right place, and doing so with confidence. So we've talked about 
identity and your data strategy and access. We talked about actioning it all off, which is exciting. But obviously now you're probably thinking we have to start to close the loop. And while measurement is critical, so is driving new insights. So is fueling new in innovation, what those insights can do for you and what opportunities they unlock for your organizations. That's where Live Insights comes in. And I get to be the one to talk more about the Live Ramp Clean Room powered by Habeo. I'm so excited about this solution. This is an evolution of what we launched last year with the Clean Room, but with the marriage of LiveRamp and Habu, we're bringing together the simplicity, ease of use, and cloud interoperability, as well as AI built in the background from Habu. And this just lives as an application within the LiveRamp data collaboration platform. Clean rooms are how. There are how you're gonna connect with partners, how you're gonna discover new audiences, and how you're going to potentially build new AI models. And under that is privacy enhancing technology. That's incredibly important because no longer do you have to physically move the data around and have that risk, you simply share the data. So let's show you a little bit how it works. Scott did a brief demonstration, which he could do with two clicks. And so, what you see here is that you can now easily get access, as Scott said, to managing clean rooms across all of the clouds so that you can meet everyone in this room and partner where they are. You no longer have to have those messy conversations about where the data lives and how do we get the data there. Instead, you have ease to this. You have all the data in one place available for collaboration. I love it, it makes it saying yes so much easier. Let's just do it, right, it <laughs> does. We can go a lot of ways with that comments, guys. Uh, all right, so Kim and I, when Kim and I were prepping for this, one of the things I said was like, this is great, but I'm a marketer, so what does this mean to me, right? And the reality is if we think about, uh, most of you guys, I think, work with, let's say, Amazon or Google or Meta in some capacity. And if you think about getting insights just with those partners based on your data, your measurement criteria, it's not always easy and it oftentimes requires a large team and you gotta bring in a lot of technical folks to help you get to that point. We thought, gosh, wouldn't it be great if we could streamline that and simplify it with an intelligence layer? Well, we have, right? So now from a single UI, you can get media insights, you can derive consumer insights based on all of the data and all of the partners that you have. I talked about starting with Amazon and Meta and Google, but think about applying this level of intelligence to every single partner that you have. That's what we're talking about here. Going back to the simplicity and the speed to value. It's not just about the ease of setting it up. It's the ease of deriving insights coming out of it. So now generating insights, building new audiences, maximizing your media, it's never been simpler. You know, we're just scratching the surface though. So you heard uh, Matt and you heard Jessica talk about all the other opportunities out there. One of the things I think, it's, it's time for us to get started guys, it's incredibly exciting. When we think about data collaboration and we think of what, about what clean rooms can power, think about how it can accelerate your co-marketing opportunities. Historically that's been a really difficult thing to do because you're taking two pieces of data, taking two big data assets and trying to bring those together. Think about enhancing risk and fraud profiles. Think about taking the, inside, the, the disconnectivity that's inside of your own organizations with data, being able to connect that and accelerate data usage. Think about, you heard Matt talk about AI. Think about how uh, clean room and data collaboration can really power new opportunities with AI. It's incredibly exciting. But before we keep talking about that, there's more to come. And I think we wanna share a little bit about that. Absolutely. So I'm really excited about the future, not just delivering what's available now, but delivering new things for all of you. And what you see up here is called the partner marketplace. It's bringing a new type of collaboration to each of you. Our partners are building applications right on top of the data collaboration platform. For instance, Claritas and Circana are bringing their own measurement capabilities into the LiveRamp data collaboration platform, fully integrated with LiveRamp. And you can take a sneak peek of this in the showcase later today. Yes. And that's the data collaboration platform. 
bringing simplicity and innovation without all of that messiness and noise. A one-stop shop for all of you to have access to the ecosystem at your fingertips. The data collaboration platform is not about us, though. It's not about LiveRAM. And it's not about a single one of you in the audience. It's instead about all of us coming together, putting your customers at the center of everything you do so that you can drive growth and challenge one another on what else is possible. So before we go, I'm going to make a commitment to you, and that's you're not going to wait three years for additional stuff. We're going to have ongoing and regular updates within the data collaboration platform with simplified experience optimized for your innovation. Now, I know Jessica already said this, but I'm going to ask you to make a commitment to us for just two days, and that is to partner with one another and have the conversations to discover what's possible. As Scott said last year, none of us can go at this alone. I'm super excited about all of the things that were coming, but you're probably not just sitting, you're like, great. You've been talking about the data collaboration platform for years. You're launching it now. Do we have to wait another couple of years? As Kim said, no. Uh, so what we are going to be doing is launching new functionality and capabilities every twice a year. But it's not just about our products. It's not just about bringing streamlined products to you. It's also about simplifying our commercial models. I'm sure you're going to be happy about that one as well. right? Uh, so it's incredibly excited. Here's what I'll leave you with. Data collaboration is the future, and the future is now. So we implore you, let's get started. It's going to be fun, guys. All right. Thank you all so much. Thank, Thank you. you.